kulaku, kula planti, kula planti. Yo guys, so this is what investing is like, eh? You just plant and wait to see if it grows. I've also heard that investing is like shopping. What you ordered versus what you got. It can be risky, but I have also learned that it can also be a way to build for the future or even just secure for your future self. However, today, at Future Twitter One has a question that I know a lot of you have wondered about when it comes to investing. Let's have a listen. Hey, Dumi. So I've been thinking about investing and I'm not sure where to start. I don't have a lot of money. Do I need a large sum of money to get started? Or can I start small? I just need the information on the basics. Okay, at Future 231. I see you're the kind of person who thinks about your future, ne? And yeah, at I grew it brought to you by Absa. I will plug you with the information that will have you one day walking around saying started with a quarter now I'm here hey besties you know they say if it's nice play it twice ah the plug is good plug it twice I'm back with Tawanda he is the head of savings and investments at ABSA and he is back to talk money with us Last time we had you here, you plugged us so nicely on savings, right? Now, I want to understand investments, and I believe you are still the guy on this one. I have just the first question. Savings and investments, right? They're different, but what is the difference, and do they serve the same purpose in my life? Yeah, ultimately, they serve the same purpose, right? It's about putting away money uh, for access uh, at a later stage. But... I could break it down into a few different uh, differences. First of all is uh, purpose, right? Uh, if you're going to be putting money aside uh, for emergencies, uh, that you want to access it when you need it, um, you're likely saving, right? But if, it's, if you're in it for the long haul, right, to say you're putting money aside for you to access after five, 10 years, that's uh, on the investment side of things. Um, if I look at risk, uh, is, is a key difference between the two. Uh, on the saving side of things, there is very little, largely no risk at all. Right? You put your money in, the, it grows, but slowly, um, and there's no risk to your capital. Right? If you put in 100 rand, you're likely going to get 100 plus, never less. But on the investment side of things, there's an element of risk. So that risk means you put in 100 rand, there is a chance, a higher chance uh, of you uh, ending up with less than 100 rand, right? Um, which brings me to the key, the, another key difference, which is um, kind of the time horizon that you need to, to put money in there. For short-term stuff, savings is the way to go, right? That's saving. For investments, because of the risk, in the short term, you tend to see a lot of volatility, right? Which is why you shouldn't be putting uh, money into an investment uh, for you to access next week, right? Over time, in as much as there's volatility, in a lot of the instances, you're still going up. Right, so the time horizon is another key difference between the two. Sure. Yeah, ne? Well, what are this risk issue? I see risk, risk keeps coming up with investment. I'll come to that. I just want to stick a little bit to add future 231's question, right? Which is, do you have to have a lot of money if you want to invest? Or can you throw in a little small amount and watch it grow? Uh, common misconception, right? Um, you don't need to have a lot of money to invest. Oh. Uh, we spoke about it last time uh, when I said um, the key is to start. Um, there are a lot of products out there in the market that allow you to start your savings journey uh, with as little as 10 rand, 20 rand. Right? But the key is to say, keep going, right? Build that habit. Mm -hmm. So you don't need a lot of money. It's a, call it a myth. Oh, okay. But now, is, does, does starting small at least mean you can avoid this risk that you're talking about? It, it depends on what you, you're getting into, right? Um, if you go into proper savings accounts, you avoid that risk. But if you go into, depending on how small is small, into things like uh, stocks uh, on the stock market, uh, foreign exchange, then there you can't really avoid that risk. Right. So, hmm, no risk, no return. 
low risk, low return. Ah, so you need the risk to grow your money. The hmm. converse though, high risk, chances of high return. Right, right. Well, there you have it, bestie. Now I'm going to invest in this place. They make such nice boots. <laughs> boots will never run out of flesh. Ever. Why are you laughing? Does it sound risky? <laughs> it's a fashion win. Tawanda, believe in me. Find out how you can better understand investing and read the story of your finances with I Grew It. Absa, your story matters. Mm -hmm.